The Utah Jazz have signed two guys to two 10-day contracts. That is Chris Dunn and Frank Jackson. Chris Dunn, former what? Fifth overall pick out of the University of Providence, drafted by the T-Wolves, then part of that Jimmy Butler trade, played for the Bulls, then played for the Hawks. And then last year, he kind of, I I mean, the three-point shot has never came around really for him. I mean, technically one season with the Bulls, he was like a league average shooter, but he shot 9% from three last year, but 43% from the field for the Trailblazers, seven points a night, six assists, five, four rebounds. Not a bad player, but Chris Dunn officially is a Utah Jazz. So far in 14 games with Portland Trailblazers, I told you the stats, but this season he's been playing with the Capital City Go-Go of the G League. And I think he's played like 30 games. I don't, I don't want to say the wrong amount. Let me... 31 games with the Capital City Go-Go. He's actually shooting 41% from three, 54% from the field. Chris Dunn, 15 points, five and a half assists, five and a half rebounds, two, about two and a half steals a night. Chris Dunn is a dog. Now, if you guys don't know who Frank Jackson is, Frank Jackson was actually the, the draft pick by these guys named the New Orleans Pelicans. He was the first pick of the second round back in 2017 out of the University of Duke and you know he's played for several he's played 213 NBA games and it's been a career 33% three-point shooter but he has shown that he can shoot well and last season he appeared in 53 games for the Pistons and averaged 10.6 points 1.6 rebounds one assist if I had to put my money on who's going to be a bigger impact player I think it's personally Chris Dunn he's an insane defender and passer and rebounder literally the only thing keeping Chris Dunn out of the NBA is the ability to hit the three-point ball Frank Jackson has appeared in 29 games for the Salt Lake City Stars this year 21 points three assists three rebounds 43 percent almost from three almost 47 percent from the field and he's averaging about a steal a night. Again, I do believe that the, the better option is Chris Dunn, in my opinion. But, I mean, I'm not an NBA executive. So, we'll, we'll see where he ends up. But I, I definitely think he could be a guy who could be an impact player. Frank Jackson or Chris Dunn. I'm putting my money on, you know, Chris Dunn over Frank Jackson. But, again, I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below in the comment section. If there was anything else I might have missed. But that's basically going to be it for me, guys. I hope you guys do have a great day. Like, comment, subscribe. Do all that good stuff. But uh, I don't know what else you guys would want to hear from me. I feel like if I if I kept you guys here any longer, I'd be doing you guys a disservice. So if there was anything that I didn't mention that you wanted me to mention, let me know in the comment section. But besides that, I am, you know... I'm going to go. So I hope you guys did enjoy it. Like, comment, and subscribe. Till next time, guys. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, you should hit that subscribe button. It means the world to us. Knowing that, well, to me, because there's, there's no, to us, you know, my subscribers, but more so you guys. But either way, I'm done. I'm done chewing your guys' ears off. But yeah, so let me know. If there was anything else I could have I could have mentioned that you guys would have wanted to hear. But besides that, I'm out, Ski. Bye-bye, everybody. I hope you have a great day. Because I know I will. Seriously. I know I will have a good one. Or at least I hope so. How bad would it not to have a good day? Would be the worst thing ever, wouldn't it? I don't know if it'd be the worst thing ever, but hey. I'm out of here, okay? Seriously. I've felt this way too long.